kids play video games, they just do and they'll continue doing so, okay? According to research in 2011, 91% of children in the US aged 2 to 17 were playing video games. These numbers were up nearly 13% from the same study two years prior. A suggestion I have here today is to include training for electronic sports as part of school's extracurriculum activities. Hear me out. Majority of secondary education institutions already host and fund after school sports such as football, volleyball, rowing, basketball, etc. And what do nerds get? A chess club. But just imagine the possibilities with esports, teams of mixed gender and mixed ability children that do not fit the usual job crowd, training for trophies and huge awards for their school, all under adult supervision. Now, I know that some of you may think, oh, but they already have such courses in South Korean schools and those are pretty awful. It's true. Korean government allowed such endeavor to be turned into factories of kids spending ungodly amount of hours in front of the computer. These are serious violations and such practices should never be replicated. The proposal here simply relies on the fact that kids will be gaming regardless and rather than insinuating that they suffer from addiction issues, we invite them to train under guidance with many other activities built in as part of getting better at a said game. Esports clubs and secondary education should certainly include aerobics or weightlifting, meditating sessions and most importantly team building exercises as part of the curriculum. We just had a 13-year-old signing a contract to become a professional Fortnite player. I bet money that this individual didn't have any lawyers protecting this worker's rights, getting them the best deal. If they had some training about contract terms and conditions, chances of that happening would be much lower. While right-wing governments are slashing schools' budgets, this would be an alternative route towards securing funding as game development companies have been increasingly offering grants to educational institutions that are setting up esports teams. In the UK, between 2012 and 2014, around 350 youth centres were closed and 41,000 youth service places for young people and at least 35,000 hours of outreach work by youth workers were cut. We are in an epidemic of cuts towards youth services and no, just funding esports teams won't save that. But it may be a small contribution in building communities, encouraging talent, all with very little reliance on these conservative governments. You just watched Left Left Up, do check other episodes of the show, opened on my profile. I'm Marianne Dejgalvite and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.